Okay, we're back. So I picked the front. My front's going to be over here, and I have a little, where'd it go? This little area right here, I'm going to, there's a little, like, crack right there. So I'm going to cover that up with the front door. Okay. All right, so I've rolled out some red. I have this graduating set of cutters that look like this, which are perfect for doors, so I'm going to use that and just uh, cut this out. And then what I'm going to do is uh, just take a skewer and go across this way. and then turn it, okay, whoops, what did I just do there, e -e -e -e. <laughs> losing track of what I'm doing here, okay, and then, let's see, this is the way, hello, this way, at an angle this way, kind of like a little quilted door, because these are fancy bees, fancy little house, Okay, and then if I've just kind of messed it up a little, just kind of smooth it back out. All right, so where's that little spot right about there? Place this on here. It looks a little tall, so I'm actually going to cut it down just a little bit. So what I want to do is be careful not to push it into those little grooves. I want it to actually also kind of stick out just a little bit like that. And down there also, just kind of tuck that in just a tiny bit. Okay, like so. Now, if you don't have one of these cutters, okay, like this, you can just cut it freehand with a pizza cutter. Or another way to do it is just to take your fondant roll it into a ball first, and then go back and forth this way, ee, 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 a couple of times, and then start to flatten this, and then you'll have the rounded edges. At this point, you could put it down and kind of roll it this way and this way gently. Kind of try to keep it in its shape, and then you have, see how you have the rounded door up here, and you could cut off the bottom there. Okay, so that's the same way you can do it without the cutter. Fast, easy way to do it. All right, now what I'm gonna do is get a little bit of the pink fondant and some little cutters that I have. Got some little uh, clay cutters that are heart-shaped. So there's the set just like that. And let's see, the pink fondant that I was using. Well, let's make a little door handle that's a little heart. So I only need a tiny little piece Roll it out just slightly. And then we'll use the smallest one. It's a heart plunger cutter. Push down and then pop it out. Then we need just a tiny bit of water on the back. And there's our little front door handle. Oops. Okay, then voila. Okay, it looks like we're ready for to do our little bumblebees, so let me get the other materials out for those, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 